What's going on? We got exciting news for you. We found out we were accepted to the place we're going to be going to for our mission trip. And we are going to, wait, you got to stick around to the end of the video to find out. What? Yeah. That's funny. It's funny, right? Then they have to watch. So, we've been praying a lot for like the past few weeks. We knew like God randomly opened this door, which is funny because we've been praying and we didn't even think we'd be going on a mission trip, but God just like plopped in our lap and we're like, yeah, Jesus, if that's what you want, we'll go. Well, me and then she like grew to it and that hurt too. You can tell by our facial, you know, reactions, expressions. But uh, so basically like we were just like open to anything. YWAM has lots of locations. So we are like, okay, there's one in Florida. Okay, there's one in like Norway. Um, there was one in Paris. There's one in like South Africa. Hawaii? No, no, not the one in Hawaii. One in uh, it's like su south of like Spain, uh, like by the Mediterranean, where they go into North Africa. So there was a lot, and honestly, we sent out emails to a bunch of them because we were like, God, we just want to go wherever you want us to go because we know to be in your will is the best place to be. So we're not like, oh, we want to go to Hawaii, or we want to go like stay uh, in America. Or we're just like wherever, honestly, we'll lead. Um, so we we emailed a bunch of places, and how were the responses? Nothing. We got nothing yeah. back besides one place. Yep, only one location. Which is sort of crazy because like a few of them, like Bali, Indonesia was a big base. It looked real established. Sorry if you're watching, you missed out. <laughs> and we like um, and subscribe for weekly missionary journeys. It's going to be super fun. Um, we, I like reached out like two times because we're going with children, right? So we need to know like, hey, do you guys have like beds for our kids? Like, um, you know, is someone able to watch the kids? Because a lot of the locations actually said to bring a nanny. And it's like, dude, we're missionaries, okay? I don't have, like, a nanny. Like, oh, let me just call my staff member to come, like, help us. Like, no, man, we're poor. We're missionaries. So, um, well, tell them. Where, where did we get accepted? We're going to Paris. Paris. Well, Paris. It's like right outside yes. of Paris. Yes. Why we in Paris? We actually just got accepted like a few hours ago. And we and you know what's the craziest thing? We bought the plane tickets before we got accepted. Yeah, we bought the plane tickets like two weeks ago. Two weeks ago. Like we just felt like God was telling us like why we on this why we base in Paris. And uh, it was like 4500 bucks. It's expensive round way for four people in economy. We took the basis. We're not like, you know, sitting in first class. But it's expensive. But yeah, we bought the ticket. So I'm glad they accepted us because well, like this was the location if you watched our other video. Yeah. This was the location where Tommy was like watching a sermon and he said something yes. about like Jesus washing the disciples' feet. Yes. And then I was looking on this their website and they had like a big quote like about like Jesus washing the disciples' feet, how it was like the ultimate act of like service. And so that was when we were like, okay, this is probably it. Like, I mean, regardless of other people not responding to us, we just like felt like God was yeah. confirming it. I feel know? like God like cut the Wi Fi at those bases so they could get our <laughs> emails. Honestly. Like Yeah, I mean it's crazy. Knows? And the the lady we're talking to, she's like super sweet and it's just exciting. Like um, the people who started it have been doing missionary work for like 20 years um, and uh, it's a married couple and they like they take a lot of families that go so there's going to be a few different uh, schools happening while we're there for three months we'll basically be doing outreaches and stuff but more of like a training kind of phase they call it discipleship training school I guess over five million people have been through YWAM's discipleship training school um, so we'll be doing that it's three months of like in the classroom every single day practice Practical stuff and then we'll have three months of outreach um, like in another country and we're talking like we've been looking online like they they go to like places in Asia places in Africa like you you leave from Paris and go like somewhere on the other side of the world so we're really excited about that she's a little, a little nervous about it but yeah. it's gonna be good so basically the whole program is six months and you can't work d during those six months at all. So, um, and I think the whole program is about eighteen thousand dollars in yeah. like U.S. dollars. Um, so it's sort of a lot, but thankfully, you know, we know that God's going to provide. But we also made a GoFundMe if any of you guys want to donate money to support our little missions trip. Yeah. Um, and you can find that where in the 
description. In the description or in the top comment, we'll have that GoFundMe. And really, we just want to give you a chance to partner with us and partner with God and like sowing into God's kingdom. Because the Bible talks about, you know, there's one who, you know, sows and plants. And, you know, all of us have like a different, I guess, responsibility, right? Because not everyone's called to go overseas. Some are just called just to, you know, be in the U.S., a teacher, a school student, whatever you are, you know. So if you even have a dollar fifty cents, all of it helps and makes a huge difference because basically if we had, you know, like a thousand people give five dollars, that's already five grand right there, which is mind blowing. But most importantly, we could use your prayers because we really believe when you pray, God hears and God acts. So we could use all your prayers. The big one right now is our passport. Yeah. So we, ex we overnighted our passports for four of us. She had to renew hers. I need a new one. The kids need it too because they're just, they just came into the world. <laughs> they're like three and one years old. So typically, I, we've heard it's taking about five weeks. Um, but online, online some, it, says like 13. it says in 13 weeks online. So pray that our passports could come back in time. And we're believing and we know God's going to do it. We're going to praise him on this channel when he does it. You know, because anything is possible if you believe. Luke 137. So I've been memorizing a lot of scripture just to be like, that God has so many promises for us. And, and I think it's important for us to just like be in the word and studying because then you realize that our God's so big and that he can't do anything that we need to start like believing and praying for bigger things. Yeah. So what else do they need to pray for? I got to pray for, um, just for, for God to keep us safe. Yeah. For safety. You know, for the children. Just for, for just all the preparations, you know, we have to put our stuff in storage. We yes. We have to get obviously our passports and then we can't do anything before we get our passports so like we can't yes. get our visas we can't do our bank accounts like all that stuff we need to we need our passports and all the documents that we sent to get our passports done we need all that like our marriage certificate our birth certificate yes. all that so the government has all of our important so stuff right we're now we're really praying about those passports but yeah I guess that and safety and yeah just, um, and honestly yeah. for God just to make us a light to the nations we want to see people saved I want to see people get healed and married Miracles happen and just like for, and for us to be able to tell you guys that like God still works and he's still powerful and that you know this is for you guys too in your normal day-to-day -day life it's the missions field so I just want to get you guys excited I'm excited it's gonna be awesome Tommy's like up here in the clouds and I'm over here like packing suitcases yeah. and like getting the kids car seats and like <laughs> it's good you need it all right you know yeah. we're, we're a team teamwork makes the dream work <laughs> So, yeah, that's the biggest thing is just praying for God to really use us and so that we could be a blessing to others and that God will just help us with all the minutia because like our whole entire house. And that's what we're going to show you in the next few weeks on this channel. It's going to be fun. We like these sit downs, but we're excited to start just vlogging with you guys. So we're going to show you like this table right here. This needs to go in storage. Our entire house, it's going to be like 300 a month. It's going to be like about two grand for like six months. Yeah, but it's a lot less than having to buy all new stuff. So. Yes, because if we bought all of our furniture again, it'd be, it would be a lot of money. So we're putting all this in storage, put my car at my parents' house. Thanks mom and dad for, you know, being a faithful servant to the Lord for the kingdom to spread the gospel. And uh, it's gonna be lit. So make sure to like and subscribe because we're going to have some more fun stuff in the next few weeks of this journey of us leaving California and going to Paris, France. And who else? Who knows where else? And don't forget to check the description. Yes. Join Fam Out. Join Fam Out. Thanks for your support and love. Bye.